Good evening and welcome to Quiz Night Live. How are you all going this evening? Welcome back. Uh, the pin is just to my right. You will see it's a little bit different there tonight just because what I've done is I've made like a miniature video as such. Um, so you can watch that. It explains everything, all the details, all the rules, how it all works. Um, so I haven't got to go through it all apart from the little bits at the end. So I'll play that video when I get a few more players coming in. But hopefully you're all having a good week so far. You're enjoying the sunshine and we've had a great weekend. Um, I can see people are already coming through. So here we've got Apple Dawn. Welcome back and Groom Quiz. Not seen you in a while. Good evening, Andrew. I'm very well, thank you. How have you and Deb's been? Uh, Nikki No Mate, hello. Ducky is back. And Helen B, welcome back to you. Jim Bob is here. Sibba is new. Hello, Looper. How are you doing tonight? Lots of you. Oh, Lydia and Zach, hello. Welcome. Uh, Jim Bob is also back. Lots of you are coming through now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press play on this little video, and it basically explains everything, so I haven't got to. Charlie Angels, hello. There are some new people that will be playing tonight, as always. Um, but I'm just going to play this video. Um, you're from the USA? Well, hello. Hopefully this isn't too British for you. Um, but I'm going to play the video, show you how it works. Good evening, PP. P, please, Bob. And here we go. Hello, Gemma Lama. Hello, Scooby Minus Me. Mike Eva. Hello, Sea Cucumber. Hello. I have Gin Helen. I'm trying to be a bit quiet so everyone can hear that, but I mean, it's quite common sense. It's cool. Thank you very much, Lydia and Zach. Mm, no sound. Uh, if there's no sound on the video, I don't really know what's going on there. I tried it. I, t I attempted it. I failed it. So that's fine. Uh, people have just informed me that there's no sound on the video, but whatever. Um, I'll explain how it works. As I always do, I thought I would save myself some time and some effort and some breath because, <laughs> oh well, here we go. Um, so if you are new, hello. And if you're coming back, hello. Uh, Lolly, welcome back. Not seen you in a while. Martai, welcome back to Miss Love Jones. Sharon, Ben, not seen you in a while either. Lots of people returning. So the way this works, if you're new, is we have uh, 10 rounds. So 10 simple rounds. Uh, with that, there are five questions in each round. They vary from easy to hard, and there are four types of questions. So we've got questions that are open-ended. So there's four possible answers. You just select which one it is. There could be multiple selects on that, but it will let you know beforehand. We've got true and false questions. They are quite simple, true or false. We have then got um, typing questions. So you get a question, you have to type the answer in. And the final one is a puzzle question. So you basically get four questions, you slide them in order, and there you go. Let me just say in the comments, thank you. Yeah, my top is, yeah, I love my top, it's great. Um, kisses back to you, Heather, Helen. 10 rounds of drinks. Well, you might do well then, maybe. I mean, maybe you'll just guess with knowledge. And El Chapo, hello. Um, Trumpet, welcome back. Beeper, hello. Um, so yeah, there's four types of questions. Uh, 10 rounds. Um, so this is live. Um, as most of you know. So there is a slight delay. So the questions will say 30 seconds. Most of them, there are a few with 60 seconds. You will get timed out at about five seconds. The reason that is, is because I'm slightly ahead of you. So you've got about 25 seconds to answer the questions only. Good evening, Morgan. Hello, Les Ali. Not seen you in a while either. Oh, um... Thank you very much, Jonathan. I will send you a message afterwards, uh, but thank you for doing that. I really appreciate that. Uh, Queen PB, hello. Uh, yeah, so uh, we've done the questions. We've done that. Ah, oh, yes, my gin. Of course, we always do this. So tonight I am drinking the last of my Malfay lemon gin. Um, I've got some elderflower tonic in here to top the glass up. But yes, um, hope, are you on the beers and the wines again tonight? AB, hello. Welcome back. Um, yeah, what else have, what have we, what haven't we done? So we've done the types of questions. We've done the rounds. So rounds tonight, we've got a mixture of rounds. We've got some general knowledge. We've got flags because you all ask for flags again. Um, we have got food. 
I've got an emoji round and also a round by code. So that should hopefully, there is movies tonight. Yes, we've got five questions about movies and a couple of others dotted around other rounds. Um, hopefully you enjoy them. I am taking people's feedback into consideration. Um, what? Hmm? Huh? What do you mean? No, it's part of it. Oh, okay. So you've just seen me having a conversation. That's with my PR team. So I have PR in the background. They um, talk to me. They laugh as well. So if you hear that, it's just them in the background. Sicilian, orange and Persian lime. Lolly, your gin is so good. Um, so yeah, 10, question, 10 rounds, four types of questions. The way it works is about speed. So the faster you are, the more points you earn. So if, for example, um, you are our answer fast, you get up to a thousand points. There are some questions that are worth 2,000 points, and then there are some questions that have got multiple answers, so you could potentially get 8,000 points per answer. Have I done everything? Have I covered everything? There is a delay, yes. If you get a really bad delay, refresh the screen, that helps um, speed it back up again. But yeah, as I said, there's, you, you'll get caught for about five seconds. That, um, I'm not really sure what else I'm saying here. Um, but yes, thank you for coming and playing. Um, and, I think what we'll do is we'll just play round one. If you are new, it's quite simple. So if you are new, make sure you've got Kahoot on your phone or that, and you've got this live stream on another device or a laptop, a TV, something like that, if you are new. if you Yeah, and then the pins are there. Okay, I've got you all. We're just going to go with it, see how we go, and we'll have some fun on the way. So let's go. So round one tonight is general knowledge. I thought I would throw in some general knowledge to start for you tonight. Five questions here. Quite easy. Perfect. Let's go then. So here is your first question. Which is the only vowel not used as a first in the US state? There you are, Mike. A question for you straight away. Is it E? Is it I? Is it A? Or is it O? So the faster you are, the more points you get. Um, I'll say this is all you get. Uh, there's an answer streak. So every question you get right from the second one, you get a bonus 100 points, up to 500 points for five in a row. So you get an additional bonus points for knowing everything and getting everything right. We've got 34 answers in already. 35 is quite a lot of you playing tonight, which is always fun. And if you haven't seen already on the Facebook page, we have got a special quiz on Wednesday. Yes, it was E. So there are no states in the USA with starting with the letter E. There's no eight minute delay, I don't think. No, we're all good here. OK, let's look at the leaderboard for the first time tonight. Matt the Monkey's taking first place. Gemma Lama is in second. Queen PB, followed by Shah and Ben Ari. And Deb's Nemesis is in the top five as well. That's how the leaderboard works. Each question will answer it. It will change. It will. Get... And if you are new, you won't know about this, but there's a last round that will destroy you quite badly. But we'll get there later. Okay, so in tennis, what piece of fruit is found at the top of the main? Trophy. Is it a lime? That's red. Is it a pineapple? That is blue. Is it a strawberry? That is yellow. Or is it an orange? That is green. Answers are coming through very fast, which is wonderful. And I need this gin. I've not, I had a really bad stomach ache at the start of the weekend from Friday, and I haven't been drunk all weekend. So I've been really good. No alcohol. So this is my first drink of the weekend, which means I'm probably going to have two tonight, if we're being honest here, you know, on that little break. But we'll see. So that was very mixed, but I see why people went strawberry. I'm assuming that's because Wimbledon do strawberries and um, champagne and cream and all of that. No, no, it's actually a pineapple. That was a bit of a trick. Let's look at the leaderboard. Oh, thank you, Oliver. No worries. Study away. Um, you love pineapples. I'm glad you love pineapples, Helen. Deb, well done. You knew that very fast. And Jim, Bob, your son just behind you. Oh, and your husband just behind you. The whole family's in the top three there. P, please, Bob is fourth and Beeper is in fifth place. Let's move on to the next one. Which fish is the main ingredient of Stotch, Stotch Woodcock? Stotch Woodcock. Scotch Woodcock. So... Okay, if you are new again, let's, I forgot this. I'm very bad at pronunciation. I will get things wrong, apologies. If you want to spell your names out to me like in a simple form for children, that's great, I will take that on board. 
Um, I don't read things right. I sometimes make mistakes on questions and answers, but some people have been here long enough to know my mistakes now, and they actually get questions right based on them. But anyway, yes, it was anchovies, and three of you knew that. I'm assuming there's maybe some Scotch um, people out there. Oh, Les Al knew that. Well done. And three in a row, so you knew everything so far. And El Chapo, you're also just behind them. Let's move on. Question number four. So which year was the Premier League founded? When was it founded? Was it 82, 92, 97 or 85? Or 90s? And please do let me know in the comments what you're drinking tonight. I'd love to know. Um, send me messages, send me chats. We'll have a little bit of banter going on and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and it was 1992. Yes, 17 of you knew that. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Oh, El Chapo slightly up there. Martyrs, well done. You've just climbed 12 spots. Clearly, it's a very mixed crowd and there are some football fans and some not football fans. OK, let's go on. This is the next question. It's open-ended, so you have to type here, and it's worth double points. So in which year did Britain originally join the EEC, the European Union? So what year was this? I need the four-digit number, so it would be 19-something, if that helps you out. So what year did we join the EU? I can tell you that we left the EU in uh, 2020. That was this year, just a few months ago. We have to type the year in here. So I've got 26 answers. Everyone's a little bit slower on these questions generally. But you've got to be fast. Um, I generally try and read them before they come to your screen so you get that extra minute. Your app's not working. Um, you can maybe close it and refresh it um, or go to kahoot.it, Helen, that might work for you. Eight of you knew that. Yes, it was in 1973. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. I'll try and hold on for you, Helen, as well. Um, well done, Deb's nemesis. Um, oh, jumping up there. Uh, Jim Bob as well. And Morgan and Looper, well done. You climbed 14 spots. 40 years off, Mike. Maybe it's too Englishy for you. Hopefully that doesn't affect you, though. That's the end of that round. So let's look at the next round. We have got EastEnders. So a couple of people have asked for soaps in the past, um, as you do like them. And I've not done soaps before. So I thought it'd be fun to do a round all about EastEnders. So Mike, you're probably not going to know anything here unless it is played over there and you watch it. I don't know. Um, but just guess if you don't know, because the, the faster you guess, the more points you get. So it's worth it's worth a go, basically. Um, OK, let's move on and play round number one of EastEnders. So who delivered the immortal line? You can't tell me what to do. You ain't my. Was that Cat Moon, Janine Butcher, Lucy Bill, or Zoe Slater? Who was that? You can't tell me what to do. You ain't my mother. Got 15 seconds left on the clock now. Answers are coming through quickly. Not even sure how many of you are playing tonight. I've got at least 37, 38 of you. And if you haven't seen already on the Facebook page, we have got a special quiz on Wednesday. I'm back. I know you've missed Wednesdays, a few of you have. Um, we are doing a Friends-themed quiz, so hopefully you know about Friends, the TV show. Uh, that is live at 8 o'clock on Wednesday, um, just in case you haven't seen that. It was Zoe Slater, yes. So she said this to Cat Moon, or Cat Slater at the time, who was actually her mother, but she didn't know this because her someone else brought her up, basically. And then there was a whole storyline about um, her coming out and that being her mother, and it was a massive drama in EastEnders, you know, as they, as they like to do. She looks like a Zoe. <laughs> um, perfect. So 18 of you got that. Let's look at the leaderboard. Oh, no changes there, but well done, Lolly. You climbed nine spots. So well done to you. Um, let's move on to the next one. Have a look. <laughs> Who is officially the longest serving character? Where is this Ian Bill, Peggy Mitchell, Dot Cotton or Tracy who works behind the bar? Hopefully I've done, uh, I've, I've kind of gone in between hard and stuff that general knowledge is, so maybe some of you will know this. I've got 36 answers in. A few more of you to pop your answers in. 37. 
I'm sorry, Jonathan. Hopefully you get this right. Um, it's only five questions, and that's why I do five questions, because you never know what is... Um, who is going to... I've had people join from all across the world, so yes, um, sorry. Uh, it was Ian Bill, though. He's been there since... Um, Tracy, Tracy doesn't deserve a surname. She has been there since day, almost day one, not quite, but she's just the classic Tracy behind the pub. It was Ian Bill or Adam Wood, Woodstock, I think his name is. I'm not sure. Deb and Les Ali knew that. Well done. Let's move on to the next one. So Pauline Fowler famously hit her husband with a... What was his name? Was it Arthur? Was it Bobby? Was it Mick? Or was it Den? So you've got four options there. Pauline Fowler hit her husband across the head with a frying pan. This was good back in the day. I think I've watched like I, I watched it up to like I don't know when when I think I stopped watching it when um, I think I got with this PR team actually. Uh, we have got thirty eight answers in, which means there's only thirty nine of you playing. How exciting! Lots of you tonight. Yes, it was Arthur. <laughs> the pan was okay, I'm sure of that. Um, yes, uh, it was Arthur. Let's have a look at the oh, oh, Clearly, um, Deb's nemesis, this is your house of East Enders. Um, and Motors, you climbed by six spots, so well done to you. Let's look at the next one. Okay, Mr. and Miss Bagstock were the first landlords of the famous Queen Vic pub. Is that true or is that false? Now, I don't often put true or false questions in because some of my players think it's just a luck and a guess and it's a 50% chance of getting it right and wrong if you don't know. So I don't do that many of these, but I do occasionally throw them in. Uh, but was Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Bagstock... I will give you a fact here. Mrs. Bagstock was um, drowned by her husband, Mr. Bagstock. If that, I mean, yeah. Yes, it was true. So this actually came out this year. So back, 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 I think it was in the 1800s, there was a storyline, February 2020, Some, I think it was Sharon, whatever her name is now, who she's married to, Sharon did like a flashback and she um, gave history to the fic and they were the first ever landlords. So there we are. Oh, El Chapo knew that. And Motta's well done. And four of you have got three in a row. So clearly you know your EastEnders. Okay, one more question in this round. It's open-ended. And it's worth double points. So you've got to tie. Zainab, Tamwa and Saeed are members of the family. So this is a family. They came into the soap way back in like 2000, early 2000s. What is the name of their family? You can write the word the and their family name with a space, or you can just leave it as the family name. Now, for new people, if you're here, just to let you know with these questions, this shouldn't affect you here, but capital letters are not a thing, neither are punctuation of any kind. The only thing we do is spaces. So if it was the Jones, you'd put the space Jones, and it would be that. No capital letters, no commas, no apostrophes, none of that nonsense. Oh, the, the, it was the Masoods spelt like that. So no one knew that. There were some Masoods there, but not smelt like that. Sorry, guys. Anyway, that's the end of the round. Well done to Deb's Nemesis ending at the top in that round. Um, and Motta's coming in fifth spot, so well done. Four players lost their streak as well. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, that's the end of that round. Now, I've got a different one here. Mike, you might struggle with a couple of these because they are British brands again. I'm really sorry. So what I'm going to do is bring up a picture. It's going to have emojis in it, and it's going to be a famous brand or a famous restaurant of some kind. You need to read the emojis to kind of work out what it is. So and then basically type. it's a typing round. You have to type in the brand or the restaurant or whatever it may be. Um, hopefully it makes sense. Um, let's just give it a go and see how we go. So this is the first one coming up now um, on your screen. So you'll see the emojis coming up and you've got a slice of pizza there, a red cross, and then it looks like you've got a newspaper. So what is the name of the brand? You've got a slice of pizza, a red cross, and then like a newspaper. What could that be? A brand or a restaurant of some kind? Um, what could it be? Getting a few answers coming through now. I'm not sure. This is a new game. 
So again, if you're new, we play games sometimes just because I like to break up traditional trivia with... Yes. So actually, there's three options here. It was Pizza Express. So it was a pizza slice, the X, and then the paper. So that was the Express, the Pizza Express. Hopefully that makes sense to you if you got that wrong. Unfortunately not, Tom, no. Uh, it's actually spelt the way it was spelt. It's Masood's, they are the Masood's family. So I can't do anything about that, I'm sorry. But you're fine, you're, you guys are really good and you're gonna win, do well tonight. I can, I, can feel, I can feel you doing well. But sorry, no, I can't do that and sorry. <sighs> okay, let's have a look. El Chapo, well done, Les Al and Sibba. Apple Dawn, you climb three spots, well done to you. Okay, let's move on. Here is the next one. What pictures do we have this time? We have a corn cob, and then we've got two snowflakes after that. So, I will combine your old and your new score, Helen, at the end, so it won't be too bad. Um, I can do that, I can combine scores. So there's a corn cob here, and then there's a couple of snowflakes. What could it be? Does anyone know the answer? It's fairly easy, I think. They get harder as they go on, I'm just saying. This is quite an easy one, if I'm being honest. It, there are multiple, so there was two snowflakes there, and that's why there is an S on the end. So if you wrote cornflake, I'm sorry, but you don't get points here. Um, if there was one flake, I would have accepted that. No sugar added exactly. They are rank. If you want decent, you need to have frosties. But 22 of you knew that. Okay, Deb, well done. You're in the fifth spot now. And Gemma Llama, I've not seen any llamas tonight so far. You're the first llama to appear. And well done, you climbed seven spots. That's kind. I only was able to answer one question. Okay, here is the next one. There's only three left in this round. There is an angel here, the letter D, and a light bulb. I think this is an American brand as well, if I'm correct. I feel like it's over there as well as here, but I could be wrong. Does anyone know this? It is delicious. It comes in multiple flavours. So you can have strawberry, banana, uh, vanilla, I think. Um, there's lots of flavours you can have with this. Just trying to help people there if um, they were lost. Good idea. Not Sunny Delight, no. It was Angel Delight, spelt like that. <gasps> Butterscotch, really lolly, that sounds delicious. I haven't had it in years. Look at what it tastes like. I'm sure it tastes pretty good from what I remember, but I mean, it's been like years. Let's have a Jim Bob, Deb, and Matt the Monkey, well done. Ducky, congrats, you've got three in a row. Let's move along. Next one is the are you liking this round, by the way? Please let me know in the comments the feedback. So what here, what have we got happening here? I won't describe it, but what, what is this? There's multiple people, which will help you with an S maybe at the end? If that can help anyone? Some of you might have got this already. I'm not gonna say, it's pretty easy when you, when you, when you see the answer, you're like, oh yeah, it's that. Okay, so what options do we have here? It's not five guys and it's not three steps. It's not distance, that's quite funny. It was walkers. So there was three walkers, they were all walking. But yes, I do see the social distance quite jo joke there, it's quite funny. <laughs> Glad you're loving this round, Lolly. Uh, and Flandy is not liking this round. We have controversy in the audience. Love a bit of controversy. Oh, Queen PB, well done, you're in fifth spot. Lolly, you're back in the row, Get the, you're back in the game with three in a row, so well done to you, Lolly. This is the last one, and it's worth double points, so it's going to be hard, that's all I can say. Come on, Lolly, see if you can get to the top five now. Now, there was a clue about this on Facebook and Instagram. If you follow me on there, you would have got this clue and you will know the answer. If you don't follow me, that's maybe a suggestion to go and follow me. We are Quiz Night Live with two Zs on Facebook and Instagram. 
clues go up there throughout the week on the odd here and there. So it's worth following me because I mean this, that follow could have given you 2000 points here and potentially put you to the top of the leaderboard. Did anyone get it right? What happened there? I did put two options up with the no apostrophe. There is punctuation here. Oh my God. What has Jamie done? He's put punctuation in. <laughs> um, so this is a genuine mistake. They do happen. Ah, oh. who knows? Who knows? I'm sorry. This is how this quiz works. It is just a bit of fun. It's a good way to chill on a Sunday night. But well done to all of you put apostrophe in, even though you're probably not to. Oh. Okay, so Deb, Gemma, and Motters uh, have jumped to the top there. Ah, oh, Judith didn't punctuate it and they got it. Uh, oh yeah, so maybe it worked. Okay, magic. Oh my God, I'm learning more about Gahoo every Um. Amazing. So, Tipsy Turtle, well done. I've not seen your name yet. Hello, not seen you in a while. Uh, five in a row, so well done. Clearly, you are good at um, emojis. That's the end of the round, thank God. Thank God. Now, we did flags a few weeks ago, and you love flags. I know you all love flags so much. Yes, it's good. I don't know what happened, but you all got the points. I'm, I'm so ecstatic about that. Um, so this round about flags is a bit different to what we've done in the past. So it's not the traditional, here is a flag, what country is it from? It's more of like a fact or information or kind of, hmm, hmm. You'll get it. You'll get it. Let's go. <coughs> okay. Stars are on the flag of Europe. I ran over flags on my driving test. Did you pass? Is that like legal in America? Because clearly if you did that here, they would pull you over and make you, um, they wouldn't let you drive anymore. But um, I mean, I would like more information on that. I'm quite intrigued now. Would you like a Grand Prix to like, wave a flag for like the finish line or something? Like, how does it work? I'm intrigued. <laughs> sorry, if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm like being too much or that's just me and I'm sorry, but that's just the way. Oh, the guy, <laughs> the guy holding the flag is okay. Well, that's good. Yes, it is 12. So well done. Um, 18 of you knew that. Let's look at the leaderboard. No changes in the top five, but three of you have got six in a row. So whoever the three of you are, well done. Let's move on. So who famously wore the cross now used on the English flag? Is that St. George, St. Patrick, St. David or St. Andrew? So who was that? Red, blue, yellow, or green? Is it as easy as that? Hopefully we've not lost anyone tonight so far. I know people do often drop off because they get bored of me, I know. I mean, who would get bored of this beautiful face? 36 of you knew that, well done. It was St. George, yes, England was in the hint there. Uh, the English cross is the one you saw. Deb, well done. You're doing well there. Gemma Lama, seven in a row. Very impressive. Ah, uh, small and pr big problem. What are playing tonight? They are. I they are. Interesting. Um, the Italian flag is made up of which three colours? So was it blue, yellow and red? Blue, white and red? Green, yellow and red? Or green, white and red? You need to select the answer that you know. Do you think... So, so prior flag people... Do you prefer this kind of style question or do you prefer the I show you a flag or multiple flags and you select the answer flag flag, if that makes sense? Yes, it was green, white and red. well done. 31 of you knew that. Oh, um, Groom Quizzes prefers this. That's good. I've got like different messaging apps on my computer from different people. So I keep getting random pop ups. So they might not be in the chat, but M. Flandy dislikes all flags. Well done, Ducky. You're back in the game with three in a row. How many colours are on the flag of South Africa? So, how many colours are on the flag of South Africa? Is it seven? Is it eight? Is it six? Or is it five? So, how many colours are there? You heard a rumour that M. Flandy is a flag. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that, Helen. I think he's a bit of a flag. 
got 35 answers in already. Hopefully you're all enjoying it tonight. We've got just one more round after this, then we'll take a short five to 10 minute break, but I'll sit here, grab another drink, um, have a little chat, and then we'll go into the second half. Oh, very diverse. It was actually six. So the colors are red, yellow, green, blue, black, and white. There you are. They are the colors. It's a very cool flag, probably one of my favorite flags actually. Charlie's Angel C. I told you you'd get back. You said, you know, you lost those points for that question, but you're back. You're back in the top, see? Shah and Ben Ree is making a comeback with three in a row as well, so well done to you. Okay, double point, double, see Tom? Yes, very good. Which, which US state is the only flag to have a Union Jack on it? So which flag is this, basically? Because, yeah. Hopefully you're gonna um, destroy the llamas tonight, Tom, yes? Um, that's big and small problems. Clearly you are so far, because I can't even see them. I didn't even know they was playing. I thought they neglected me and maybe didn't want to play today. And I think they're the only people, apart from Matt, whoever he is tonight, Matt the Monkey, has played, I think, every single quiz. Don't quote me there, but if you have, I'm sorry, but I think they are the only three people that have played every single quiz. It was Hawaii, yes. 20 people knew that. Well done. Hopefully you're one of those people, Mike, being from the US. Okay, Tipsy Turtle, hello. You were a winner a few weeks ago. Back in the top there, very nice. Three of you have got five in a row, so three of you knew lots about flags. Now, so you all know this. I love to invent games and create games and design games. So this next round is a game. It's inspired from Richard Osman's House of Games. I hope you like it. And are you excited for this? It's a new game, we've not done it before. The round is code. So, if number one is A, and B is two, and C is three, and D is four, all the way to Z being 26, that's the alphabet, I'm gonna give you questions. Now, questions are in English. I'm not gonna make you read, try and do that, because it's impossible. So the question will be in pure, I'm gonna say Jamie English, so broken, bad, no punctuation, awful. The answers are all in code. There's four options. They're all in code. You have to work out which one it is based on the number to letter, blah, de, blah, blah, blah. And tipsy turtles can't walk backward. No, let's play the round. So what city hosted the Olympics in 2012? Not easy because obviously you have to think about the code. So we've got here, we've got 12, 9, 19, 2, 15, 14. We've got 13, 1, 4, 18, 9, 4. I'm not going to read them out for every question because we'll be here all night. But you have to work out which it is based on the letters and the numbers and combined. Hopefully you like this one. It is a new game. Not done it before, but please do let me know as well if you like it. Because you know I like to improve these and make them better for you. As best as I can, really. This gin is really delicious tonight as well. Yes, it was 12, which is L, 15, O, N is 4, 14. And then obviously N at the end is 14. There you are. That's London. 29 have you got that, so clearly it's a round people like. Because you know the answer, the answer is easy. Look, no changes there in the top five. Well done to you guys for staying there. Um, but trumpet, well done, you climbed four spots. Moving on. So how many sides does an octagon have? So how many sides does an octagon have? Is it five, nine, seven, eight, twenty? Is it 19, 5, 22, 5, 14? I honestly don't know. That's for you to work out. Oh, actually I do know because I've got my magic orange book, which holds all the answers to all the quizzes I've ever done. And quite sadly, I'm gonna run out of space in this book soon. I'm gonna to have to get myself a new book to write all my like notes and stuff down. And it's gonna be sad to give this book away and depart it to the heavens. 36 of you have got answers in, 37 of you. Yes, it was five, nine, seven, eight, 24, eight, I believe. Yes, eight, eight is the answer. Oh, I don't have the answers written down, so I have to know the answer now. Oh, Gemma Lama, you slightly came ahead of Tipsy Turtle there. Dr. Coffee, well done. Three in a row. Yes, Dr. Coffee is also quite a loyal person. I think she might have been here every time as well, actually. She might have missed one, I'm not sure. What food serves as a base for guacamole? So gu There's some beautiful guac on your screen right now. I do love a bit of guac, it's nice. Get some tomato and onion in there, add a bit of salt and pepper, lemon, paprika. Bang on guacamole for your toast. 
Um, so what is it? Is it 2, 1, 14, 1, 14, 1? Is it 1, 14, 3, 8, 15, 22, 9? I'm not saying these, they're way too long. Hopefully you guys like this. 34 of you got that right. Clearly maybe this is too easy, or maybe it's not, I don't know. I don't know how I could make this different, I don't know. Anyway, it's a bit different than normal. Deb's nemesis, sneaky sneaky. And Abby, well done, you got three in a row. What is the name of the fairy in Peter Pan? That is tonight's... Oh, there's only three options. Oh, it's because there's so many bloody letters. <laughs> Give you more time to read them. So, what is the fairy in Peter Pan? Was it 20, 1, 2, 12, 5, 25, 12, 12? Thirty-six. Oh, you're being fast at this, actually. Maybe it is too easy, but not for the... There's one more question. Oh, and you're going to hate me. Well, Tipsy Turtle is going to hate me because he hates typing. And he's going to type numbers now. <gasps> P, please, Bob. Welcome, welcome to the top. You're breaking into a bank. Please, uh, I mean, you can, but yeah. Is this how bank, Is this how it is to break into a bank? Is it, is it quite is it this easy? Maybe I should go after and then I won't need to get a new job. Um, well done, Miss Love Jones. Back in the game with three. Well done. Not seen you before. Maybe you're new. I'm not sure. But hello, if you are new. OK, next question is a typing question. You can either put the word numbers all together or you can put spaces in between them. I've given you two options here. So spell the word science. I've given you 60 seconds to type this. Spell the word science. That's S-C-I-E-N-C. It's up there for you. Spell the word science. I don't know if anyone's going to do this, but you've got 60 seconds to try and do it. Hopefully you've got enough knowledge from numbers and letters and maybe I should do a whole round like this. Maybe this is more interesting. My gin is going very fast as well. So there is going to be another gin tonight, which I'm quite excited about if I'm being honest, because I love gin. Uh, we've got 20 answers in so far. You've still got about 20 seconds left, guys. There are going to be so many number combinations on the screen in a minute. I cannot wait to see them all. You've still got 10 seconds if you haven't done it already. I'll give you a hint. The letter C is the number three. And there are two of them in there. Not sure that really helps you right now. Because I think it's way too late. Okay, so what was the options? Oh, um, whoever wrote science, well done, but no. So it was 19, 3, 9, 5, 14, 3, 5, 4, 5. And the grooms bridges like this round, which is good. Quite a few of you got that right, actually. I think 60 seconds was the right amount of time for that. Maybe we can do that round. Oh, everyone in the top seven knew that. Or top five knew that. She blinded me. Is that a word? I've got to try and work out this word now. But I will win the break. But actually, it's break time now. So seven of you just lost your... Four. Sorry, guys. Um, okay. So, end of the first half, I'm just going to grab another drink. I'm going to give you between five and ten minutes. Grab another drink, go and do a wee, um, text your mum, um, all of that kind of stuff. And then we've got five more rounds coming up very shortly. I'm just going to mute you for one second while I do this, get my drink, and then I'll come back and have a little chat with you all, if you can even.
So this now, now I have, I've just gone for the rest of my blood orange gin, which I've had in the past. And I'm, fin I'm, top I'm putting some Clementine tonic water with that to pair for it. What are we saying here? Um, science. Um, Thomas Dolby, Mr. Mangus Pike, great tune. I have no idea what that means. Is that in English? Am I maybe too young for that? I don't know. I'm not calling you people old or anything, I promise. Oh, look at this. Look. Whee! Delicious. Yes, blood orange gin. What wine are you drinking tonight, Deb? Oh, and a question. Um, it's an 80s hit. Ah, see, yes. Um, there are 80s music coming next week, actually. I've designed that. I've started designing a little bit. And I have an 80s music round in for you guys because I know you've asked for it a couple of times. So that's coming next week. But um, why I'm here and you're just chilling for a minute. Um, yeah, so there is a friends quiz on Wednesday. No, I've posted it on Diet Pepsi, Deb. Get your wine, love. That's why you're not in the top five. Maybe you are in the top five. I don't actually remember. But why are you drinking Diet Pepsi? And it's not even like this. not even real. I mean, first of all, I'm going to, you're going to hate me here, but Pepsi... No, it's all about the Coca-Cola. That's the real drink. But diet, my God. Uh, anyway, whatever, whatever floats your boat, but I suggest you go and get some Merlot. Yes, the Friends Quiz is coming on Wednesday. So the way I've done this, right, so you guys are, most of you here, 90% of you are my regulars. You come here every week and you play and I love you for that. Now, I thought I would make the Friends Quiz interesting by trying to sell tickets for it at I think they're at three pound twenty four, but no one's bought any yet because what I was going to do is I was basically going to put all that money into like a prize pot for the winners, but no one's bought tickets, so it looks like we're going to be doing the friends quiz. I'm still doing it, but there's not going to be a prize like all these. I think people have like subscribed to the event on Facebook because they think they can win some money for nothing, and my my plan was for them to pay for all these tickets and then one of you to hopefully win. Um, you don't know nothing about friends. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. But I don't know if you've seen, but today I have published another event. So I'm going to do this twice weekly. I'm going to do like themed quizzes. So there is a Harry Potter one coming on the 1st of July as well for all you Harry Potter fans. Um, I know Dr. Coffee is sitting there right now and she is just, she's probably got the horrible face and looking at me with great disgust because she hates all, um, she hates all cultness. Um, so Jonathan, if you do want to buy a ticket on the Facebook group or on the Eventbrite, because I know you've gone on Eventbrite before, um, you can, there is a buy a ticket button, you can just click buy a ticket and you can just buy one if you want to. If I haven't sold enough, I'm just going to refund people anyway, because at the end of the day, I'm not going to take money from people and then not give a prize because that's not, that's not what I want to do basically, um, as, as a prize as such, but Hopefully people will buy it in the next few days. There's like 50 people that are interested, but we'll see. But anyway, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide to the next screen um, while, you're, um, while we're having a little chat. But yeah, um, but I'll send you a little message after about the PayPal. Or you can do it through that. I'll, I'll send you a message and we can have a little chat. But thank you for, um, thank you, yeah. There has been quite a few of you that have donated via Eventbrite and stuff, and I really appreciate it. Like, you don't have to do that. I don't ask for that. I just put it there, just in case someone does feel a bit generous. Um, I know Andrew has um, in the past. Um, Motters and Abby have, so thank you. Um, it's just nice that I've received this little bit of, I suppose, something. But don't do it. Like, don't, don't. I'm not forcing anyone. It's just, honestly. But I, I appreciate everyone that does do that, because it... It pays for me to um, drink, really. Um, yes, we will have a chat after. And Dr. Coffee, yes. But I want to do another themed one that more of you might like. Um, but kind of, I still want to do it culty enough that I might get some new people playing. Because I think if they, I think if they, if, if I can hatch them and hook them in on that one, they might come and play weekly because, yeah. Um, but anyway, let's move on. Let's play the next round. Oh, Gavin and Stacey. We could do Gavin and Stacey. Yes. Okay. So the first question is here. What flavor tarts does Buddy the Elf use in his spaghetti in Elf? So in the movie Elf, what flavor pop tarts does Buddy the Elf use? This movie round is a little bit um, unusual. So we've got strawberry, chocolate, frosting or mint here. 
I think it's quite a big feature in the film. Like, he does actually talk about it. So hopefully some of you will know the answer. But we'll see. We'll see. 35 answers there. It was chocolate. Six of you knew that. So clearly that's not a very common fact. But well done to six of you for guessing that right. Oh, El Chapo knew that. Well done. And Trumpet, you've climbed six spots. So well done to you too. Now this next one is true or false. Chadwick Boseman plays the role in 2018 superhero film Black Panther so I'm not going to say that again because I can't um, read it if we're being honest here Tychala was that? Ah, uh, uh, I don't know we've got 36 answers and it was true that was very mixed actually not everyone knew that Okay, let's have a look at the leaderboard. Oh, P, please, Bob, well done. Scooby minus me, you climbed four spots. Not seeing you much tonight, but well done. Next one is this. Which 2020 film starring Robert Downey Jr. tells the story of a physician physician of animals? Is it The Animal Man? Is it Doolittle? Is it Dr. Doolittle? Or is it He Talks to the Animals? So what is it? What? What film is it that's come out? I think it's come out already, or it's coming out soon on like the Sky thingy, and I'm not sure actually. Or maybe it's coming to the cinema. Ah, yes, <laughs> for some of you. <laughs> it was Doolittle, not Dr. Doolittle like the original, just Doolittle. Oh, you have a squirrel. I'm not sure what more of that I should be concerned about. You have a squirrel. I mean, that's fine if you have a pet squirrel, but it speaks, speaks Russian. Groom quiz, welcome to the top five. You've been away for a few weeks, but it's nice to see you. And back in the top five, go, go groom quiz. Um, Matt the monkey climbed three spots, so well done to Matt the monkey. Um, there might be negativity against Matt the monkey, that's because he is my PR team and I really don't want him to do well. But he doesn't have any advantage, he doesn't know the answers. He's just, just another player like you. Next question is this. Directed by Guy Ritchie, who plays the genie in the 2019 adaptation of Aladdin? So who plays the genie in the adaptation of the 2019 film Aladdin? I've never seen the original actually, but I've seen this and I really like it. So I'm going to watch the original on Disney Plus at some point, but I really like the, I really like the new one. I think it's a good take on the movie, even though I have no idea what the original was about. Same story, but more... Oh, it's, li it's live action, isn't it? Rather versus cartoon. Yes, exactly. 36 answers. I've lost some people. That's fine. Oh, you don't know Tom Hanks. Robin Williams and Will Smith. It was Will Smith. 32 of you knew that. Too easy. Too easy. Why is it not letting me click next? Oh, there it is. Top five have maintained. But the sea cucumber... Oh, this is the sea cucumbers around. He loves movies. Um, he climbed three spots. Well done to you. Next is this. Oh, another another typey one. And it's worth double points. Aaron Scorking won an Oscar for writing what 20... Drama about the creation of Facebook. So Aaron Scorking won an Oscar for writing what? 2012 drama. Yes, I, yes, I can't say his name. So I won't say his name. About what Facebook movie? What was it called? I watched this movie actually. I really enjoyed it. I think I watched it. I think it's the one where they go to internship. No, that's a different one. I don't know what I'm thinking of here. I don't know where the problemas are, Tom. I genuinely think they're not playing because I've not seen them once tonight. I don't know what's gone on. Ah, PR's just told me they've got new names. They're being sneaky and I don't know who they are. Because they both won last week in first and second spot, they thought it was acceptable to pick new names. Those cheeky llamas. Gemma, you're by yourself from now on by the looks of it. I have a mouse that lives under my fridge. Oh, Tom and, Tom and Helen are um, animal swapping across the pond. It was a different network, yes. Charlie's Angels, well done, Tom. You see, you're in second spot. Oh, he saw you at 7.30 and didn't tell you. Very sneaky. Um, that was a tough round though. Three of you, four players lost their streak off three. Um, they were very cheeky people. I don't trust llamas anymore. Those llamas. I wonder what their names are. I'm really intrigued to see what their names are now. 
Okay, so it's about world food. Um, hopefully this is one you like. Um, it's, it's food from around the world, different things, different things. Yeah, let's go. So the Stroop waffle is a waffle, a wafer cookie that originated in which European country? Was it the Netherlands? Was it Germany? Was it Belgium or was it Sweden? One of my favorite things, they are very delicious. Especially when you get them hot and fresh, like they make it in front of you, they slap the caramel on it. Oh, it's just so good for breakfast. Oh, like takes me back to my trips. You know, do you know back in the day when we were allowed to like leave the country and go on like a plane and go on holidays? That's what it reminds me of. It was the Netherlands. Yes, 18 of you knew that, well done. Oh, Tipty Turtle, welcome back to the top five. Bye, whoever just left. Um, and three of you knew three in a row. That's wonderful. Oh, strip syrup. I like that. I like you, Mike. You're very talkative. The traditional Peruvian dish, sky or Q, is made of what animal? Is this rabbit, sheep, guinea pig, or cow? Um, if you watch the most recent series of Race Across the World, this would have been suggested to you as an animal to eat. It did not look delicious. It looked quite scary. And honestly, no, it's a guinea pig. They like cook them, they like cut them in half, put them on like a skewer and they put them on the barbecue. It's just, no. Guinea pigs are cute and they are pets. Maybe I'll show a guinea pig and then I can do like a three-way trade with you and Helen and Mike. Let's look at the leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god, that's brilliant! Yes, the <laughs> this is not Ratatouille. Oh, three of you just got four in a row, so well done, guys. Was it nice, Jonathan? Was it nice? I'm intrigued. Uh, okay, the next one is this. Halloumi is semi-hard, unripened brine cheese. From which Mediterranean island country? Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Was that one Turkey? Was that Greece? Was that Croatia? Or was that Cyprus? Oh, what do we think? What do we know? Oh, this gin is going a bit to my head now. I think it's because I'm not drunk all weekend. Normally I like have a balance like a drink, but... And also you're just very funny, Mike. Have you played before? Is this your first time? I'm intrigued to know. And if so, did you find it via um, like Eventbrite or Facebook or how did you find it? Yes, it was Cyprus. Oh, Greece threw a few people there. More people knew Greece than um, Cyprus, but it was Cyprus. Let's have a look. Oh, the the victorious winner is slowly cloning, climbing his way back to the top spot. Well done, P please, Bob. Let's move on to the next question. Known for its characteristic strong, strong, smell and taste. Stilton is a type of cheese in which country? Is that Spania, England, Italia or France? Where is Stilton produced? Does anyone know? We have 30. It was England. Very, very fast. We've clearly lost some players, but that's fine. They obviously weren't worth the quiz. Um, it was England, just 29 of you knew that. Very impressive. Uh, and Deb, well done. You're overtaking P, please, Bob. I'm also known for my strong smell and taste. <laughs> You're outshining me here, Mike. I'm going to have to ban you. <laughs> oh, let's move on, guys. Oh, it's the last one. Hamburgers get their name from which European city? Hamburgers get their name from which European city? Is it England? Is it Paris? I don't really know. Um, well, I do know, but you have to type the answer in. And don't spell it wrong. If you spell it wrong, you'll get no points. I spell check this one so that it should be no mistake. Let's have a look. Got about five seconds to go for you guys now. Hmm. Hamburger. I like that. I did give you options there, aren't I nice? And no one used those options, wonderful. It was Hamburg. Uh, let's look at the leaderboard. Oh, Groom Quiz. I'm liking this leaderboard, it's getting very tactical now. Um, I think that's the end of the round, guys. Yes, it is. So, we've just, oh, this is the order. My friends, my friends, you will know about this if you're new. So the way this works, you get, you get a question, you're not seeing one of these questions yet. 
So there's four options. You need to slide them into the right order, depending on what the order is. There's different things. Different, they're very random and dispersed this week. They're not a specific thing. They're just kind of generic. Um, but let's go. Uh, it's about speed and getting them in the right order. So this first one is the order a plant grows. Order a plant grows. So we've got the stem grows, the flower comes out, the roots grow, and you plant the seed. So you need to just pop them into the right, slide them into the right boxes and press submit as fast as you can. You do have a little bit longer on these questions because it is a little bit harder sometimes. I've started off a little bit easier for the new people. I thought there'd be people that weren't playing and they might want to see how this works before they invest into the actual question, if that makes sense. Got 34 answers now. You still got 30 seconds, so plenty of time. And do we have any more answers? I think there's one or two more to answer. Or oh, 95% of you know how a plant grows, so well done to you. So we put the seed in the soil, the roots grow, the stem grows, and the flower comes out. That was quite easy. Let's look at the leaderboard. No changes, but Trumpet has got three in a row, so well done to you, Trumpet. Here is the next one. So what's the next one? The order you would take a holiday in. So the first two are a bit easy. Yes, I realize. So the order you would take a holiday in. I thought I'd put this in just for jokes because none of us are going anywhere anytime soon. Um, I would love to go on holiday right now. Like, Just jump on a plane, go to a beach, and just lay there all week. It'd be so nice. So do we book the plane first? Do we board the plane first? Do we have the holiday, or do we return home? Oh, and if you're um, struggling, um, just look at the screen. That's all I'm going to say to you. Look at the screen. Sometimes this happens. Yes, it was in the right order. Well done to um, everyone. First, you would pack the Speedos. <laughs> oh, but Groom Quiz, you were fast. Well done. Dr. Coffee, three in a row. And yes, holidays. Yeah, I do remember them. Are we, uh, maybe soon we can go. I don't know. Here's the next one, guys. Put these locations in order using the map of the world below. Left. So here is a map of the world. Put these countries in order from left to right. We've got Iran there, Jamaica, Niger and Ethiopia. Yes, it's not as easy as you think. I am throwing a couple of African countries there just to um, make it easy for you. Wonder if anyone will get the, those countries in the right order. We've got 29 answers now. You've still got 30 seconds of plenty of time to, um, yeah. I like playing this round. It's one of my favorite games to play. It's quite fun. All 70% of you knew that. That's impressive. So Jamaica is obviously way over here, and then you've got Niger, and then Ethiopia's further over in Africa, and then Iran is in Asia, I think. Yes, I'm getting a nod, technically. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. No changes, but that's fine. Martai, well done, three in a row. Um, let's... El Chapo's doing very well now. They're steadily ahead. There's like 5,000 points in it. Someone needs to like make a comeback here. Here's the next one. Put these weights in order. Put these weights in order. 10 pounds, 6 stone, 6 kilograms, and 1 ton. So put them in order. With your left being your lightest to obviously your, your right being the heaviest. Loads of home? Hmm? Loads of home. Loads of home. Low, loads of high. Oh, loads of high, loads of high, loads of high. No, Alexa, go away. Sorry, she talks to me sometimes. Low to high. I didn't say that at the start. Someone obviously didn't hear me. But low to high. 81% of you knew that. Well done. Yes, 10 pounds is followed by 6 kilos, which is followed by 6 stone, which is followed by 1 ton. Now, if um, you looked at your screen at the start of that question, that was the order. The round is playing up today, and I've had two in the right order, which is not good for me, but it's good for you. Let's have a look. Out chap. 20 in a row. Well ahead. I don't think anyone's going to steal. 10,000 points ahead. The last round, someone's just got to get the last round bang on and you've got to just lose it to like even. Who are 
know you. I thought you've played all the time, but I don't think we've ever spoken or we know your name. I'm intrigued. Please, if you can, send a message. <laughs> Unless you're a llama and you've stolen someone's name. The following four European cities, starting with the most northerly, so we're going to go north to south with these European cities. So we've got Copenhagen, Newcastle upon Tyne, Stockholm and Aberdeen. So put them from north to south. So north is on your left and south is on your right. So we've got Copenhagen, Newcastle upon Tyne. This is worth 2,000 points. Will El Chapo get this one right? Hope you're all having fun tonight, though. And we've still got a few more rounds. What else have we got left? Um, I think we've got entertainment. So we've got entertainment round next after this. And then we've got the final round. The final round, which you will love. I know you will love the final round. It destroys lives and homes. Or, or top spots. Let's just put it like that. 34 of you have answered. There is a few more seconds if anyone wants to pop their answer in. Anyone? No one got that right. Aberdeen, followed by Newcastle, followed by Copenhagen, followed by Stockholm. You're wrong. Am I wrong? Yeah. Ah, la, 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 la. I'm wrong. I don't think I am wrong though. I saw this on a quizzing website and actually took the answers from another quizzing website. So maybe they're wrong. Apologies guys. I'm so sorry. Everyone lost their answer streak. Sorry, El Chapo. No, 21 in a row anymore. <laughs> oh, okay, let's move on. This is how it goes, guys. Okay, entertainment now. So these are things from around the world of entertainment and what you, what you have. Cheers, Helen. Uh, let's just play this round and hope they're all right. What was Netflix's first fully funded show? Was it Orange is the New Black, that's red, or was it House of Cards, that's blue? So what was Netflix's first fully funded original show? I'm so sorry, guys. I hate when that happens, and I double-check stuff. Hmm. You're right, it was House of Cards, and 25 of you knew that. Deb, P, please, Bob. Well done. Let's move on to the next one. What year was Live Aid held at Wembley Stadium? What year? You need to type the year here. So what year was Live Aid held at Wembley Stadium? You've only got 30 seconds, so you've got to be fast. I'll give you, I'll give you a hint here. It's 19 something or other. Don't type something or other, because you won't get any points. Let's have a look. Oh, 35? 35 answers. 36? 35. Let's have a look. What years you thought? Oh, there's loads of options here. Yeah, it was 85. 17 of you knew that. Well done. Oh, groom quiz. You've jumped to third spot. You came from nowhere. Next one is this. Who is the only person to have won an Oscar for both acting and screenwriting? Is that Emma Thomas, Owen Wilson, Quentin Tarantino or Woody Allen? So who has won an Oscar for both acting and screenwriting? Answers are coming in fast here. Hope you're enjoying it and you've enjoyed the rounds tonight. We are almost at we're almost at our departing ways now. Which is sad. Yes, it was Emma Thompson. So she's won four Oscars for movies and then one for screenwriting. I did have the faggers written down, but then I scribbled through them for some reason, and I don't know why, so I don't know which films they are, but you'll have to Google them if you want to know. I'm sorry about that. My factual information is not here tonight. Ooh! P please, Bob. Very and the Queen PB. Is Queen PB related to Please Bob? I might have might have been Sense and Sensibility. Yes, I saw that on the list. Thank you for that information, Jonathan. 
Really appreciate that. I mean, you got the answer right, and you've got a green arrow next to your name, so clearly you know the answer. Okay, let's move on. How many Terminator movies have there been? So how many Terminator movies have there been? Have there been six? Have there been four? Have there been seven? Or have there been five? How many Terminator movies have there been? What do you think and what do you know? You've got five seconds left, guys. You gotta be fast, you gotta be quick. It was six. Ooh, very diverse answers there. It was six. I googled this, so don't even tell me it's wrong. Oh, groom quiz, Deb, well done. You've been tempted. <laughs> oh, Mike. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Oh. Next one is true or false, guys. And it's worth double points. Dolly Parton wrote Whitney Houston smash hit, I Will Always Love Is that true or is that false? And I, I will always love you. Only because I know you love my singing. Well, there's one person that loves my singing. He tells me I'm nice, but I'm actually awful. Yes, it was true. Dolly Parton did write that song. Let's look at the leaderboard. Or everyone in the top five. Charlie's Angels five in a row. So right now, there's... Six, seven thousand in it. And I think it's time for the final countdown. Okay, guys, 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 if you're new here, so I'm talking to Mike and anyone else that's new. Um, the way this works is you get questions with four possible answers. There will always be one answer that's correct. But there could be two, three, or four. There's a lot of points, potentially up to like 20,000 points in this round. There's only three questions. They're really random, like they're really random facts, so you need to know stuff. Now, the way it works, say you give me two answers, but one was right and one was wrong. You get no points. Say you give me three answers, they're all correct. You get lots of points. So only select the answers you know. If you select all the right answers but one wrong answer, you get no points. I have to state that and put that in as a fact because Tom's excited for this round. Yes, I can see that because he's in second place. Are you ready for the final round, guys? Three questions. Let's go. First question is this. They're all multi-select and they're all double points. Which of the below are Italian cheeses? Italian cheeses. So we've got Emmanuel da Astroga, Gaspora Alvatelli, Alaganda Bucanza Hathapifi. Sorry if there's any Italians watching. Basado do Grappa. So which of the below are Italian cheeses? Only select the answers you know. I might have had some help from Anne Hegarty this week, that's all I'm saying. She had um she's got this quiz show on ITV on Thursday nights. It's really good if you haven't watched it. And the two you selected are cheeses, yes, very good. Basto di Grappa and Alaganda Bucanza Halbafet are cheeses. The other two, Emmanuel da Agosta and Gruppa Safa Abelti, are composers. They're Italian composers. I ripped off Anne Hegarty, but I chose different words, so it's fine. Let's look at the leaderboard and see if anyone got potentially 4,000 points here. Oh, Charlie's Angels. Well done, you're closing the gap. They are very cheesy composers, yes. Here is the next one. This round puts me at so much pressure. French cities or towns. So French cities or towns. We've got Boulogne, Milan, Comte, Clermont, Clermont, Farad, Dijon, Mustard, Ivry sur Suen. That's not how you say any of them. My pronunciation is the worst. Which of those are French towns, cities? They're all, they're all, they're all. Now, now, Tom, did you select all of them? Oh, no. No, it's getting closed. Dr. Coffee, you got six, you climbed six spots, well done. Um, P, please, Bob, is in third spot here. Oh, oh, oh. It's the final question. I think you've won El Chapo, so well done to you. But let's just play the last question, just because. So, multi-select. 
double points. Var varieties of red wine. You should be this tipsy turtle. Varieties of red wine. So we've got Gerwa Zertramea, Nebilio, Sangiovosi, and Lambrofoschio. Which of these are red rouge wines? Rouge? Is that the French word for red? I think it is. I think it is. Only select the answers you know, because if you get one wrong, you get no points. Yes. So, Nibilio, San Fagiosi, and Lambrosico are all red wines. Gurwa Motrozamaza, cannot say that, is a white wine. I've never heard of it. Like, I googled it and was like, got a list of wines, and that was that. So, here we are. Let's look at the final, final leaderboard. Oh, Tipsy Turtle did know that. I was right. Jim Bob, well done, you climbed eight spots there. Okay, this is the final leaderboard. We have got a podium coming up in just a second, so please just hold your horses for that podium. But El Chapo in first spot, Charlie's Angels, P Please Bob, Tipsy Turtle and Groom Quiz. Now my question is, Charlie's Angels, you beat them. You beat the llamas, but we don't know who the llamas are. Maybe they need to reveal themselves now, please. Okay, anyway, before we do that, I just want to say this. Thank you so much for playing. I really hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. Make, leave me a thumbs up on this video. If you haven't already, press subscribe on the channel. I do videos, I do this every single Sunday. And we have Wednesday quizzes with different themes coming up very soon. Friends is just there now. Um, that's coming up on Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Gonna be slightly different. Um, but yeah, go and subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave me comments. Go to the Facebook page, that is Quiz Night Live with two Zs. Follow that, there's hints, there's clues on there, there's all of that kind of information that you might use to help you with things like cut door. Um, yeah, um, I'm just going to give you one more question, which is rounds for future things. I've done this in the past. I just need ideas for rounds that you want in the future, rounds you want me to bring back, all of that kind of stuff. So you've got 60 seconds now just to type me in rounds you would like to see, please. Most suggestions are most appreciated. I will read out them as fast as I can, but we'll go into the leaderboard and the points and all of that in a second. Cool. Cheers, guys. You don't have to write anything if you don't want to, but you, you can always leave me comments. And if you don't want to suggest a round, you can send me some love. Send me a love message of love. You know, tell me how great I am. Tell me how you hate me. Whatever you like. A few of you have given me options, which is good. Thank you. The um, leaderboard is coming in just a second as well after this question. But this question won't end until everyone's written. So if you haven't written, we have to just wait a little bit, but that's fine. And that's not me in the laptop, no. Um, but I hope you all have a lovely rest of the weekend as well. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I will see you on Wednesday. Hopefully there'll be lots of you here. Um, suggestion, watch some Friends this week. There's going to be lots of, yeah. Just spend the night watching Friends on Netflix. You've got nothing better to do, right? Cricket, Dogs, Christmas, Statues, Thanks, Forty Towers, Sports, Gavin, Stacey, Comedy Shows. Three of you got points for that. It's a shame it was worth zero points. Imagine if I put points on that. Imagine if I put points on that. Can you imagine? <laughs> some of you have worked out. Some of you have worked out that I put three dots here now. You sneaky bastards. I'm sorry, you sneaky bastards. You know what? Next week, okay, okay, next week, this is a game we're going to play, right? Next week, I'm going to put points on it, but I'm going to pick something different. If you can guess what my mind has said, you can earn points and you might change the leaderboard. Okay? Right. Anyway, let's move on. Here is the podium. So, well done, guys. Third place is P, please, Bob. Well done. You're back on the podium. Very nice. In second spot, Charlie's Angels. Congrats, guys. And the winner tonight is El Chapo. Sorry, that sounded racist. I'm really sorry. Um, Tipsy Turtle was fourth and Groom Quizzes came in fifth. Well done, guys. Um, I'm going to stay here for about five, ten minutes. So send me some chats and chill and all of that kind of stuff. I'm just going to press this and I'm going to bring up the full leaderboard. And I'm going to get the full leaderboard so we can have a little look at everyone. Um, hard geography questions. I can do hard geography. Um, okay, so let's view the report now. Let's bring up the detailed leaderboard and let's see where everyone actually sat. And let's try and work out. Go to play. Um, 
players. And here we go. So who was sixth? Deb's nemesis and then Deb. All the nemesis beat Deb to came in eighth. Chill Charlie came in ninth. And Jim Bob. Well done, Jim Bob. Okay, who's in 11th? Morgan, well done. Queen PB. Nikki, no mate. You've got mates now, Nikki. Uh, Motters, well done. Shah and Ben Ree. Gemma Lama, then Martai Ducky, Trumpet, and Les Al. Well done. Let's move on. AB, well done. Lamas was Chill Charlie, any monkey. Chill Charlie, do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting confirmation here. Where is Chill Charlie? Oh, th oh, I get the joke now. Was you very intense at um, tennis tonight, Tom? That's my only thought there. I don't know. Maybe that's why he's saying chill. Uh, okay, so Martai, uh, Ducky, Trumpet, Les, Ali, AB, Lolly, 22nd, Apple Dawn, 23rd, Dr. Coffee, 24th, Looper, 25th, CQ, C Cucumber, Helen B, Man Like, Cyber, Scooby Minus Me. Scooby Minus Me, you need to find another player that can actually that can help you get back up there because you're normally really good. Mike Lever, well done. Miss Love Jones, Mad Dog JNL, don't know who you are, but Beeper, Helena, Lainey and Terry, Beeper, Just Me, Helen B. Miss Love Jones, Dot Dot, Helen B. Helen, how many times did you join? Ben and Lydia and Zach left very early on. That's the leaderboard. Well, what can I say, guys? That was a fun quiz. Did you enjoy it? The aluminium medal, yes. Who was the other llama, though? That's my question. Let's go through the names here. Um, Morgan's new. It could be Morgan. Or Queen PB. Or Nikki No Mates. It's one of those. Oh, Nikki No Mates. Do you reckon they went with Chill Charlie and Nikki No Mates? That's my suggestion, Tom. But let's. I'm, I need to find out now. Um, I don't know. What, why do they go for different names? Because they don't want to be not at the top with their name. Mm. Anyway, I don't know. Helen uses two hands and two laptops. Well, clearly she's not very good because um, clearly she got a very low score. Um, no, she got kicked out, so we have to combine all of her scores and do the final leaderboard and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just going to finish my gin. I'm almost there, and then I'm going to say goodbye. If any of you want to leave me any more messages and comments, you can. Um, I'm here for another minute or so. Who was a mysterious llama? Sherlock Holmes knew. Sherlock... Um, so, Andrew, we've discovered that. Good night, Mott. Oh, you're going to buy some Andrew Delight. We'll see you when. Yes. Jonathan, I will send you a message now. Um, who's... So, we know that Chill Charlie's one of the llamas. We don't know who the other one is. I'm going to guess. Oh, the news that I'm sharing, Dr. Coffee, I've shared it. You're very disappointed here. It's the fact. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. It's a fact that I am doing the Harry Potter quiz as well as the Friends quiz. <laughs> Who is Coxinomus? Yeah, that was the news. But I'm going to bring back Wednesdays every week in July. So just a few more weeks. And we're going to do Wednesdays and Sundays again because I haven't found a job. And I miss Wednesdays. And I know you guys will miss Wednesdays. So I'm going to do normal Wednesdays. Chill Charlie is Nikki no, not Nikki No Mates. So maybe Queen PB? Is it Queen PB? Because all the others are regular players. Or Trump. Uh, I've seen Trump it before, though. Yes, I'm going to. Yeah, I think we'll get through this. We're going to do these two specials. And then in July, we'll switch back Wednesdays on as well as Sundays. Because I know you guys like them. But in the meantime, I'm going to build quizzes because I'm always doing it on the week. I'm going to try and build like a bank of quizzes so that I can just kind of not have to stress about it for a while and just kind of go with that. Um, I don't know where you get Subway Nupkins from. Who are you? Did you just join now? I mean, the best suggestion I can give you is to go to Subway. <laughs> they provide napkins with Subway there. But your house will just get wet in the rain. I mean, I don't know where you live, but if you live here, if you live in the UK, 
do not build a house out of napkins because you will just get wet. Your house will soak through and you will have nothing left. Ooh. Anyway, the gin is gone. I am going to do what I do. I'm going to love you. I'm and I will see you on Wednesday for a brand new quiz. All friends. I don't have any Subway napkins. Sorry. And um, that's it. I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. And I will see you real soon for another video. Bye.